It's spread all over the city. Everybody knows that Yuzar Sif disobeyed Zaleika, but was never disloyal. He said he was in prison because he hadn't obeyed his mistress's order. He never said what the order was. So that's the reason he was in prison. Bravo to this decent young man. I don't know why. I like him more and more each day. I've been told in the city that all the beautiful women want him, but that he hasn't given in to any of them. May God protect you, Yusazif! Thank you. But the gods that can't protect themselves can't protect anyone else either. The temple priests do any injustice they want in the name of Aman, and nobody can stop them. Aman is unaware of what they do. Everybody knows that the priests take people as wives and daughters to the temple simply for their own enjoyment. Aman doesn't need a wife. Never mind. What are you in prison for? I entered the house of Oman's wives to save my daughter. And I fought some of the priests. They arrested me and brought me here. I've been here for many years. I have no news of my wife and children. Don't worry. I'll send my friend, Mimi Sabu, to help them as much as he is able to. Just think of the hardships of life as a filing tool and use it to polish and purify your soul. Don't let the hardships darken and tarnish your soul. Don't let the hardships turn the world into a dark dungeon for you. There are many people who are not in prison, but because of the lack of the separation inside and the aimless mind, the world looks to him worse than any prison. Dreaming of being freed from prison is sweet, and captivity is bitter. The dreams of the world outside are the same. The more you pursue dreams, the more they escape from you like a shadow. And if you turn your face at them, they will follow you. Do not talk in the sun with a head made of wax, because it will melt and you will lose it. Do not follow pipe dreams with your mortal body. This life ends. The body becomes mortal, but you will not achieve your dreams. Spring is followed by the yellow autumn, Sitting on the throne is followed by lying in a coffin. So isn't it better that you see this dark prison full of light and brightness? What hope is there? How can we be happy in this dark, cold prison, huh? Choose a good beloved. The one whose beloved is beside him will move from the sea of sorrows to the coast. You're crazy. This is a prison and we're in a grave. We're just not buried yet. <laughs> you give glad tidings of a beloved and courting to a bunch of 
dead people. <laughs> Listen, my dear ones. Everyone's beloved is the one he worships. One who worships a dead beloved will achieve nothing but sadness, a grave, and burial. But the one who worships the living beloved, this prison, an orchard, or desert will make no difference to him. Use our thief. May I ask which beloved has given you so much happiness and pleasure? Huh? The living omnipresent who is always beside me, who watches and looks after me always. Yuzarsif does not worship dead beloveds made of wood or stone. find him. No. He has vanished into thin air. I searched everywhere, but have found no trace. We will be in deep trouble if Kimini has been arrested. Papis and Inarus, and now Priest Kimini. If any of them talks. A minute, Temple. Destroy all of us or limit the power of the temple. It won't be that easy. They know that insulting Eminence Ankmahu and the temple priests has dangerous consequences. Amon worshippers will not stand it. I think that Apophis and Kimini have not yet been arrested. Or if they have, they haven't talked yet. If they had talked, then Amenhotep and Potiphar would have certainly done something by now. We mustn't lose hope. I want you to keep searching. Inform me if you find them so we can decide what to do. Also, keep on soldiers at the ready. We must be able to defend ourselves if we are attacked.
What's the matter? Why is the camel running away? I don't know. I tried to catch it, but I was unable. It escaped from the caravan and came directly here. And now I am tired from trying to catch it. Are you from Canaan? Yes. How do you know that? You dress like the people of Canaan. I used to live in Canaan. Hey, what are you doing here? Can't you see? This whole area is restricted. It's not my fault. My camel ran this way, so I had to follow it. Leave here immediately. He is from my homeland. If you will allow it, I'd like to talk to him. Very well. But then he must leave. You say you're from Canaan. That's right. Who are you? And why are you here? It's a long story. Do you know the leader of the Canaanite people? Yes, Prophet Jacob. Jacob, son of Isaac, son of Abraham. I have heard he has 12 fruitful branches. He did, but one branch was sawed off. And do you know how the prophet is doing? He suffers from the separation. He's built a house of sorrow and doesn't socialize with anyone. He spends life weeping for the cut-off branch. Why are you crying? If you return to Canaan and the broken-hearted man, tell him you have a message for him from a young prisoner. Tell him that the prisoner said, when the pain of separation reaches its peak, take refuge in the beloved and pray for the children who are separated from their fathers in a foreign land. Who are you? You didn't tell me your name. Forgive me. I'm not allowed to say. Your camel has returned. It won't run away again. That's strange. I ran after it for so long. It's not so strange. In this world, every creature is doing a duty and moving towards a goal. You mean the camel dragged me here on purpose? People are waiting for me. Bye. Goodbye. Will you tell the leader of Canaan, put God in place of that severed branch and resort to patience? Pray that you find him soon. God be with you.
Inorus. Uh, Inorus. Uh, Wake up, Inorus. Uh, uh, Wake up. Uh, Inorus. Uh, Were you dreaming? Yes. It was a strange dream. Ugh. Why are you up? I was dreaming as well. I noticed you when I woke up. If we... If we were out of prison, we would go to the Temple Sorcerers. Yes. But I don't know if there are any dream interpreters there. Use our sieve? Yes. It's too late now. In the morning. The morning. But what if he goes to the mine? Kinnaman is letting them rest tomorrow because of their efforts in cleaning the prison. <gasps> I'm going to sleep then. It's now time you pronounce your prophethood. By God's leave, you are from now on responsible for directing and inviting the prisoners and the Egyptian people to monotheism. God shall undoubtedly help you and support you on this path. God has chosen you for himself and granted you the gift of dream interpreting. He shall bestow upon you and your family his ultimate blessing, as he ultimately blessed your fathers Isaac and Abraham, and granted them prophethood and leadership. Inorus and I had strange dreams last night. Can you interpret them? What dreams? Tell me about them. In my dream, I squeezed three bunches of grapes and gave the juice to the pharaoh. The pharaoh was very frightening. That's a bad dream, isn't it? Oh, very bad. So, what was yours? I dreamt that I held bread and food in a basket on top of my head, and birds landed, took bread and food, and flew away. That was it. Would you accept my interpretation, even if it was to your disadvantage? We will. It can't be. We accept whatever you say. 
I know you doubt the truthfulness of my talk. You are justified. To assure you that I am a dream interpreter and believe whatever I tell you will definitely happen, I will first show you a sign and then interpret your dream. What kind of sign? As an example, perhaps I could tell you what we will have for lunch today. Use our safe. Do you know sorcery? I haven't learned dream interpretation through sorcery. What I say is by heavenly confirmation, inspired by the divine. It is one of the sciences my God has taught me. When you say your God, you don't mean Amon, the great God of Egypt. Does a lifeless rock know how to interpret dreams? I left the nation of infidels. I do not follow the nation that denies the one God and doomsday. That is not my God. Today's lunch will be fried fish and wheat bread and a few dates. <laughs> You shall see, this is a prison, not a palace. <laughs> Prisoners do not even dream of such a meal. Only the aristocrats have such a meal in the brothels with wine, not the prisoners in Zavira. <laughs> <laughs> today? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Fried fish, wheat bread, and dates? How do you know that? They only just brought it now. It's true. As you Yusasif said, it's fish. Don't rush. Make a queue. There's enough for everybody. Is such a meal in prison? Lady Salaita ordered this meal. Salaita sent this food, so it was her. I knew you'd never find such food in prison. It seems Lady Zaleka has ordered this meal out of sympathy for the prisoners. To sympathize with all the prisoners, or is it just one of them? Use Asif's interpretation of our dreams. We know what you say will happen. Use Arsif, you were with us. How could you know what the meal was? Everything I know has been taught to me by my God. I don't know these things by myself. But what gods are you talking about? What religion is it? I follow my ancestors' religion. The religion of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Are you a descendant of Abraham? The one who worshipped the one God? The one who rose to fight your numerous gods. The one who fought infidelity 
Polytheism and idolatry. Our ancestors have worshipped idols for thousands of years and prostrate themselves before them. What's wrong with worshipping them? Stones soft as wax in the hands of the sculptor that the sculptor can decide to destroy at any time. Or the almighty God who is never weak and the sculptor and sculpture are weak before his power. Such a God really would deserve love and worship. But how can we know that such a God does exist and has such a power? Because he sent me to guide you and taught me dream interpretation and prescience. Did I not inform you of what you would eat today? We must leave our gods for one prediction and worship your god now. I told you that my knowledge is by God's leave, not my own ability. Now I will tell you something that I haven't said before. After my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I am one of the messengers of the one God. And I invite you to follow the religion of my great-grandfather, Abraham, and to worship the one God. Are you really a messenger of God? I am a link in the chain of prophets of God who were ordained to guide humans. Before me, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were prophets. And after me, other prophets will come also. And the last Abrahamic prophet, named Praiseworthy, shall be the last messenger of God. A prophet in prison? Prison is part of God's world, and I am the messenger of God. What's the difference between inside the prison and outside the prison? What about our dreams? Don't worry. But interpreting your dreams is subject to your beliefs. To believe in the God who taught me the interpretation of dreams. We do believe. We believe in whatever you say. Of course. But we don't know your God yet, do we? Do you know the one you're worshipping now? Do you know your idols are lifeless, powerless, willless rocks? Do you know you have no reason to worship these idols? While my God has created all creatures and the cause for all beings, an owner without partner, without peer. Apophis, Inarus, what is your answer? The most convincing proof of your God was in the power of his messenger we witness today. I believe in your God. Well, Apophis, and you? To be honest, when I think that I've worshipped a powerless thing for my whole life, I feel stupid. I have no doubt that your God is better than mine. And like Inarus, I believe in your God. Although your God is not seen, he is better than our gods that see us. But don't do anything for us. If I had seen a good thing in Amman or other gods of Thebes, I would hesitate. But I have not. And if your God is as kind as you are, I will love him as I love you.
I believe in the God who sends prophets to guide us. I do believe in your God, and I do denounce stone gods. I'll worship the God who is my creator, not my creation. I too will worship the one God. I don't believe in cold stone gods anymore. Now, repeat after me. In the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the name, In the name of, of the God, God of Abraham, Abraham Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob. We denounce the cold stone gods. We, we denounce, denounce the, the cold, cold stone, stone gods. gods. And other earthly gods. And other earthly gods. And we believe in. And we believe in. Believe in the one God. The one God. God. You're not going to do anything, Your Excellency? What would you suggest? He's inviting all prisoners to monotheism. What about our ancestors' religion? Take it easy. Use us if brings calm to prison, and that's all we want. Let them have whatever religion they like. Excellency Yusasif, we believe in God now. Now will you interpret our dreams? You promised me that you would accept the interpretation, regardless of what it might be. We accept. We keep our promise. In Aruz, you will be returning to your previous job in three days. You will be respected as Amenhotep's cupbearer. But you, Apophis, you will be hanged in three days' time. You will stay on the gallows so long that the birds will feed on your body. Like you, I thought until a few moments ago that my dream had a bad interpretation. But I was so hopeful. What is better than feeding the birds? I think that he's right. I think User Seif is right. True, the priests in Amon Temple betrayed me and didn't help me. But I wanted to kill Amenhotep, and I must be punished. I must be punished. Death. Death. 
It is my punishment. Obviously. In a rush. The priests! Will the priests help me? If Yuzar Sif's dream interpretation is correct. <laughs> time we give to Agmahu and Padiyama, the more they equip themselves, so to confront them will become more and more difficult. If we are going to fight them, my advice, do it soon. I suggest that we confront Agmahu and the priests with Padiyama and Kimini. They cannot deny the open confession of Apophis, can they? If their crime is proved, I know exactly what to do with them. I'll take away from them all power and facilities of the temple. I'll punish severely Ankhmahu and Padiyamon. We had better throw a big feast in the palace and invite Ankhmahu and his accomplices. And then bring in Kimini, Apophis, and Inarus to the hall, so they confront each other. Do you think they will accept the invitation? If the Pharaoh invites someone to a feast, he must accept the invitation. Refusal is not an option. You must hold the trial as soon as it is possible. Certainly, Your Highness. What's the matter? Death is something normal. It happens to everyone. We all die sooner or later. Today is your turn. Tomorrow is our turn. Even if man lived for a thousand years, he will still not be happy to face death. Only prophets and friends of God welcome death. I gave you bad news of death. Now I'll give you some good news. Your belief before death is a great blessing. You'll leave this world 
and will have eternal peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Uh, in Egypt, they don't mummify those who are hanged. They don't send them to the city of the dead. <laughs> so I won't. I won't ever have eternal peace. I'll be destroyed forever. Who says peace is in the West? A believer must not think like idolaters. Your God is the creator of everything, so he is in control in both worlds. I give you the glad tidings that wherever you meet death, you will have the eternal paradise and everlasting life in the one God's kingdom. I am not as much worried for you as I am for Inarus. What? Why are you worried for me? Is my life in danger? No. Your soul is in danger. By believing in God, you and Apophis were cleansed from all your past sins. But you will stay in this world. And I am worried you may sin again. And by doing so, leave this world a sinner. But Apophis will meet his God while he is still pure. You must be careful. It is not hard to plant the sapling of faith. But it is hard to raise and preserve the sapling. I get worse and suffer more day after day. Everybody thinks that I am happy and joyous. They know nothing about my broken heart and suffering soul. Nobody hears my suppressed screams. What can I do, Carrie Mama? Find a way. Do something. Lower your voice, my lady. Do you want everyone to hear? You should torture him. The only way to defeat Yuzarsif is to use the whip and torture. You must only be able to endure it. I've raised Yuzarsif from a child. Nobody can force him to do something if he doesn't want to. I don't know any other way. But I think we can force him to obey by giving him the promise of freedom. Although it is useless, I am ready to do anything to make you happy. We'll go to Zavira prison today. 